once upon a time in a land that was hated by many children and loved by many pediatricians lived too terrifically and sometimes terrifyingly green twins. And you will never get this name of the green village. Veggieville. In the cottage with the twins lived their father, a hard-working farmer and their evil stepmother, Dame Vitraya Putri. Remember, audience, whenever she comes and says, My fair flavor is pepperoni, the rest of it is baloney, please shout, Pepperoni is baloney. Now, after hearing the veggie additions, it's time you come to know the staple food of veggie will. Outsiders fear to visit the village as they are scared of what they could eat. Potatoes, broccoli, carrot. But the staple food is much better and worse than that. Better for taste and worse for nutritional. The food of this vegetable crazy town is pizza. Their excuse was that pizza does have vegetables on them. All arguments and conflicts in the village were because of this very cheese filled goodness. In Potato Mena, that was the issue. Let's see what's happening here. I am Dame Betrayal Potato. I love betrayal and I hate potato. Pepperoni pizza is the best. All bologna, everything else. I am the stepmother to two annoying children. They trouble me with green pizza. They are the villains. I am the best dame. Betrayal potato, pepperoni pizza can cause a good tornado. Give it a try. Just give it a try. Give it a try. Just give it a try. Give it a try. Just give it a try. People, just give it a try. Pepperoni pizza, the best pizza. My favorite flavor is pepperoni. The rest is bologna. I am Dame Betraya Porero. I love betrayal and I hate Porero. Pepperoni pizza, the best pizza in the world. Thank you. Darling, I have a gift for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're the best husband. What is this? What is wrong? Isn't that the pepperoni pizza you've been asking for? Yes, but I asked for three. I know, dear, but I could only afford one. Before marrying you, which was a terrible mistake, I used to get four pizzas every week. Pepperoni is my favorite flavor. The rest is bologna. Pepperoni is bologna? I know, dear, but I had to sustain for hand celery and green tail as well. They wanted the green and celery pizza. Mm -hmm. I had to get them one of their favorites as well, didn't I? <sighs> Ah, oh, I can't take this anymore. All my desires are getting crushed because of these two children. You have to make a choice now. Either it's me or your filthy children. I can't choose between you and my children. You're both too important to me. Okay, fine. Then I'm leaving. Goodbye. Oh no, please don't go. I'll get my children out of the house. I promise. Oh, I have an idea. Let's all go for a picnic to the oven tomorrow. Oven, the place that is referred to as the enchanted woods of the best bakery treats, all the way from croissants to pizzas to donuts, all perfect. There's always a downside to something too good to be true. Scorching heat all the way up to 200 degrees in Celsius. Only the people who live in the oven can survive it. The only other way to survive the heat, the wandering trader, one of the most sketchiest business people out there. Any other hope? None whatsoever. What does the trader sell? Well, it's SPF 3000, of course. It's a device that makes the boiling heat bearable. A person has to trade one of the most valuable items to make the heat bearable. One valuable item for the SPF 3000 for one person. Let's go back to Dame Betrayas. My plan is very good. Listen, audience. If you have very irritating stepchildren that you want to get rid of, listen. First, explain that we need more wood in the oven that we bake the pizzas in. Then, send them to the oven to get the wood. Boom! And they are gone and you're free. Any wood can be used. Requirements are wicked people. By wicked, I mean W-I-C-K-E-D. 
wicked wicked people now i need to give them instructions for the picnic i need to go now oh i have an appointment with a wandering trader i will need two 3000 spfs and now finally i will get my four pepperoni pizzas my favorite flavor is pepperoni and the rest is baloney not at all pepperoni is baloney after the planning was over it was time for the execution and celery in green tail come down now immediately yes dad what is it yes i have something to give you what when I was a kid, I got lost in the forest and I found this cabbage. Ever since then, apart from your stepmother, I've had nothing but good luck. I sort of think of it as a good luck charm. But now, I think you guys need it more than I do. Make sure you never lose it. Thanks, Dad. We will never lose it. Anyway, more about the cabbage. When Hansel and Gretel's father was a bit younger, as he was working near the oven, he had found the cabbage you see in the twin sands. Little did the father know that it was toxic. The plan had worked. The children were safely placed in the oven. As the twins went deeper into the oven, they were surprised to see that there was an enormous pizza with seven big pizza slices, all with different toppings. Monster! Monster! We are not monstrous children. We are harmless. We are the inhabitants of the oven. We know everything that has happened to you. We are extremely sorry, but don't worry. You are now in good hands. Deep inside the oven, there are seven doers called pizza's doers, living in the abode of the pizza's doers. A big pizza with seven slices with their own toppings. Their names are based on the color of the food they eat. They are extremely formidable and friendly. They will take good care of you. Aya, we are the seven dwarves. We know everything that has happened to you. We are extremely sorry. I am red and I am angry most of the time. I live on the pepperoni slice of the pizza. Come into our pizza home. But be warned, if you do anything bad, we will catch you. I eat nothing other than red food. I am yellow. Unlike red, I am not Angry and I love to eat only yellow food. I live happily on the pineapple slice of pizza. Hello, I am brown. I love to eat anything that contains chocolate. Hi, I am blue. I can practically eat everything that is blue. From blueberry to blue grape juice. Howdy, I am orange. Unlike all other dwarfs, I'm extremely fun and I'm very formidable too. Hi, I am black. The most hated words by me is emotion. I am the inhabitant of the olive pizza. It's nice to meet you. Bye. There was one last dwarf playing the last slice of pizza. Greetel got attracted towards the broccoli in the last slice of pizza. Ancelary and Greetel went towards it. Greetel started eating the broccoli. A dwarf with a wicked smile jumped out and startled the children. I am green. Being wicked and jealous is my nature. As long as you aren't jealous of my broccoli, you're welcome to stay here. <laughs> Everything was going well until Green got her eyes on the cabbage. It was something she had never seen before. How jealous she was that Hansel and Gretel, the so-called annoying twins, got to have something so crunchy and green and she did it. So she came up with a wise and wicked plan to steal this green goodness. In the night, after Yellow Dwarf had allowed the twins to sleep in the guest room, Green stole the cabbage as quickly as possible and went back to her green abode to enjoy this crumptiest new food. As she took a bite of it, lo and behold, slowly her legs lengthen. She grows taller. She turns malicious. What spring up? Hair grows longer and soon she becomes the wicked witch. Such an exquisite elixir. A tasty treat never seen. So deliciously green.
darkness prevail, sun disappear, anger prevail, happiness disappear. All the children belong to me and their parents will scream. So come to me and be little witches. Be mad, be bad, make people sad. I shall make the world green and no one can intervene. Magic for a spell, a mansion, bell mel ingredients for potions, some green notions. Ah ha 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 ha! Hansel and Greentail wanted to find the cabbage, as was the only thing that reminded them of home. So they gathered a squad of dwarf and went to search for it. It's a mansion of greens. It's heavenly. It's lovely. It's green plastic. You can all go as green is not your color. We need a break from this tired and cabbage hunt. The house was made of celery, cabbage and all kinds of different greens that they loved. As Hansel and Gretel were happily munching on all sorts of greens, Green, who had turned into a witch, was plotting an evil plan to catch them while they were eating the greens. It's easy as pie. I can wait and watch them die. I lock them in with a clang and a bing. It's foolproof and I can be aloof. As she was approaching the twins, Green thought of a new identity. I can turn invisible, green plastic. Thank you Spellpedia.com, it's the best wiki for A pinch of moon weed, some sunflower seed, a little green bead, helps me turn invisible, helps me be invincible. Anyhow, she snuck up on the poor twins. Little did they know that they were about to be trapped. They were about to turn around to continue to search for the toxic cabbage when suddenly, Inside the house, as she closed the door, she realized that the invisibility effects had worn off, thereby revealing herself to her dwarf brothers and sisters. The green wicked witch had to act smart. Should she surrender like a good dwarf or should she attack? So to make a long story short, what did she choose? Take a good guess and think of how the children got out. Or did they? Red, yellow, blue, black, brown, orange. Come help, help us. us. Yeah. Yeah. Battle had begun. Good versus evil. The green wicked witch battles her brothers and sisters to a battle along with the twins and the wandering trader. You don't know that you will pass the next narration to me, right? Anyways, the wandering trader wanted help because he wanders a lot and he had chosen the mansion to travel to the next marketplace. There was no trading needed, which was a real blow. But at least there was an epic battle called the Grand Punches on. The witches had spells and potions, but the other side threw Vegetables, cheese and bread. Mainly through portions, but the others, they had each other. And vegetables. The battle went on for seven months. <laughs> More like seven minutes. While the witch had spells and portions, the good side threw vegetables, cheese and bread. They mainly threw cabbages to confuse the witch. But the witch knew better. She knew their foes had a much bigger plan in mind. The seven dwarfs had built a veggie pult, which is a veggie catapult, in secret. Because, well, the dwarfs can be secretive to green. The witch was strong, so they had to improve their game and use the power of words to become a community. Let the greens go, let the greens go. She always was acting like a foe. Ah, she ain't the cabbage. Ah, she ain't the cabbage. She became a savage. And this did a lot of damage. Now without the green one. We the six dwarves get a lot of wine and rum. 
Now without the green one, we the six dwarves get a lot of dough and bun. Now that she's left us, there's no point to discuss. She is no more one among us. Let the greens go, let the greens go. When she comes back, the answer is no. Audience, this is where you come in. Let's sing the happiest song in the world to make green come back to her original being. Put your hands together and sing it on top of your voice. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy, you know it, clap your hands. I'm not happy, only bad. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. Huh? Happiness is only for humans, not witches. If you're happy and you know, say hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know, say hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you say hooray. Hooray! hooray. Okay. No, I'm not happy. Okay, fine. I admit, other than my jealous self, I am happy. I want to be a dwarf and be good. Wow! Look, I'm back to being a dwarf. Whoa! Except the mansion of my beautiful greens is gone. It's okay. At least I'm back to, uh, to being good. I'm going to keep away from cabbages. Here's your cabbage. We forgot to thank the dwarves for getting back safely. I don't know what we're going to tell stepmother potato, for she truly is a potato. Let's go and talk to dad. My children, I'm so happy you found your way back. I really missed you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. I really miss the green and the celery pizza. I'm so sorry I came up with such a wicked plan to send you both away. I promise I'll be a better mother and I will not whine about your favorite flavors of the pizza, even though mine is, my favorite flavor is pepperoni and the others are bologna. As you can see, Hathaway and Greenton lived happily ever after in Veggieville. As for it was, they visited their brothers and sisters pizzas often and learned to respect all vegetables, not only one, in their colors. I guess their names lost their principles of food colors. Coming to the wandering trader, well, he kept doing his business until it eventually became known by Vegibles, best businessman, clink money man, Mr. Money Man. And wandering trader made a grand deal, each owing 50% of the share income. And since then, the wandering trader stopped wandering and as a trader again and was called the trader. That's your bedtime story for today, Ancillary and Green Tell. Remember how important vegetables are for us and also pizzas for only once in a way. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Yes, mom, but you're not as bad as Pichay and the first chapter. You're the best mom in the universe and this is the best story. Of course it is. It is noted as the world's best story on Storypedia. It truly is, isn't it? I can so relate to Dame Betria's pizza choices. My favorite flavor is pepperoni and the rest of it is bologna. So what happened to the other characters, mom? Just as in the other stories, happier ever after.